Let's get over to our man, Mr. Dave Mazza, Head of Product and Managing Director at Direction. And you can come over to our website at TFNN, folks. You're going to see the banner right in the very top. You hit that banner. You go over to the Direction. They have a great newsletter, number one. They have the Exchange, which is a great newsletter. A lot of great information on their webpage. Dave Mazza, how you doing? I'm doing well. Happy to be back. Uh, yeah, I tell you, uh, it's pretty. It's pretty amazing. We've had a traders market for so long right now. Uh, it's pretty cool. So what I'd love to talk about, Dave, today uh, is, you know, the trend has been going down on bonds, no doubt. You know, we got a little bounce, but we are, you know, we have a lot of people that are, are trading your product inside the bonds. So it's always intriguing to me. You know, I mean, you see it a lot more than I do that, you know, they're back into the nugget. Of course, that's going up. And I guess these larger trends, that's when you can really see the momentum starts building. Um, and inside the bonds, I mean, you know, it, this trend has been pretty cool. Yeah, no, I, I like your comment about a trader's market. We were actually talking about that this morning is that um, taking a huge step back, if we look at equity market volumes. There's been a regime shift. So obviously, we know the spike happened when everyone was forced to stay at home and meme stocks. And yes. All that, but Volumes have been consistent. And and what we're now seeing, I think, as you're alluding to, is we're beginning to see a rotation out of people just trading um, the technology-related spaces and looking again back at areas that have been out of favor. Now, um, gold mining stocks, as we know, have a relatively high beta to the price of gold itself. You know, Energy stocks have a beta to oil, Brent crude, WTI, what have you. Um, we are um, but the other interesting thing is, um, as you, you know, uh, whether it's your gold report or others, man, the dollar just has had been so strong. Right. Um, and just when we're, I think, you know, seeing some reprieve on long rates, uh, kind of pushing the dollar back down, helping gold. Look at today. You know, commodities are getting smoked. The dollar's rallying in a, in a flight to safety again. Um, but we are seeing a lot of activity in TMF and TMV. And <laughs> these are our. Um, there are 3x bull and bear funds yep. on essentially TLT or you know the long bonds or 20 plus year treasuries. Right. And boy, if you think about this in duration space, you take a 20 or 25 plus year maturity or duration, triple that. Um, so the moves that you you can see even on the fixed income market are great. And I I love the indicator here of looking at really the flows and assets in both of them to see, hey, are bulls and bears winning? Obviously, performance-wise, bears on bonds have been winning. But last couple of weeks, you know, we've, we, we've, we've seen this massive inversion of the yield curve, and that's created a ton of opportunity for trading on the long side. And you know what's so cool, folks and Dave? What I love, right, is that what happens, folks, is in your, in your trading career, when you start really getting used to different vehicles, it's just a lot better. And that's what I've seen this morphed into. I mean, and it's really cool in the context, because uh, I, I, you know, between the dollar and bonds, I think that runs quite a bit of the market. So when I was looking at this the last couple of weeks, Dave, it's really cool that we have traders now getting in there because they understand them, right? So it's like, okay, man, because the, the difference going forward is huge. I mean, when we first started, you know, just like you said, yeah, we have the Qs, they have the spies, you know, we get oil. And when I start seeing this move into the bonds, both ways, mind you, okay, and, you know, it's like, okay, this is really, this is cement, to me, this is cemented in the market now. I mean, it literally, do you know what I'm saying? Because what happens is that whether, you know, people, are, I, don't, I don't know if they're hedging for their own portfolio, I just know there's a lot, there's a lot more action in them and there's a lot more understanding inside of the bond market. And of course, they can use your products no matter which way they're on. But you can see the, uh, it's just, I think the education value has gone up tremendously in general. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, which, which, which is great. And here's, here's something I'll note. So, um, you know, most people think about trading just in the stock market, right? That's where the, either the volatility is, yes. the interest or opportunity. You can't ignore fixed income, maybe, as you know, maybe ever, but especially now, because we're, we're in a different world, right? We're not in a world where interest rates are just pinned to zero right. and central bankers are incentivized to keep them to zero. They're now, whether we like it or not, whether you think Powell's doing a good job or a bad job, he's very clear 
we're raising rates and moving from 75 to 50, that's great, but it's still a hike. It's not a cut. Um, so I'm personally in a camp that we might be higher for longer interest rates. I'm not saying we're going to the Fed funds rate at, at 10 or something, but they're probably going to inch up to five. They have to fight inflation. They've made it very clear. All that does is creates volatility. Volatility is opportunity for traders. In index, um, I'm not sure how much you'd spend time talking about this on, on the show, but there's what's called the move index. It's essentially uh, a volatility index for fixed income, just like the VIX. The move is spiked, and when the when the when the move, uh, which is a great name, when that's on the move, then you if you're if you're looking for trading opportunities, that's when you can look at your TMF and TMV. Take the bull, take the bear, what have you. Um, but man, with rates with rates on the move, you got opportunities ahead of you. Look at this education, folks. Dave, you just put a light bulb on my head. I didn't know about the move, man. And I, I haven't had a light bulb go on for about 12 <laughs> years. Because it's so cool. Because you know when you're in it a long time, it's just, uh, thank you, man. That is so cool. Unreal. Good luck. Listen, look forward to speaking in two weeks, Dave. Sounds good. Talk to you. Thank you. Stay right there, folks.